Public transport bosses are threatening legal action in a bid to shut down a scheme that funds fare evaders. Members pay a monthly fee in return for having their fines paid if they're caught. 19-year-old Tom Peisel and a mate have come up with an idea to encourage fare evasion, a scheme dubbed Tramsurance. If Melbourne's public transportation system worked in a way that was fair and cheap for everyone to use, there would be absolutely no demand for something like this. For $20 a month, the program offers to cover fines if members are nabbed fare evading. <laughs> Quite clever. Um... I oh, know, just good luck to him, see how he goes. Personally, it's almost worked out um, better for the better, fair evading. I've been caught once. Penalties increased on Sunday. Adult fines are now $207. For those under 18, fines rose to $70. The Public Transport Users Association opposes evasion but understands the frustration. In some cases, it's just too difficult to, uh, to, to, to buy the ticket that you want to buy. Transport authorities want to derail the program quickly. A broader community, I think, would be very disappointed that someone would even propose that. It's not fair on the vast majority people who are honest and pay their fares. Tramsurance may be short-lived. Its founders have received a letter from Public Transport Victoria demanding the website be shut down or the matter will be referred to Victoria Police. Tom Peisel says even if he's forced to close his site, the idea may live on. Tramsurance may be set up between groups of 30 people or something, just friends. Emma O'Sullivan, 10 News. And Emma joins us live now from the city. And Emma, have the powers that be managed to stop the scheme yet? Well, they haven't succeeded in getting the website shut down, Helen. A short time ago, it was still up and running. That's despite what Public Transport Victoria described as its polite demands to have that site shut by 5pm today. So even though the site exists and has hundreds of subscribers, it is doubtful that a program like Tramsurance could get off the ground. The co-founder says with legal threats looming, he's now not sure what he'll do. The program's Twitter feed advertised its launch as being July 20. But perhaps Perhaps we can gain a clue from one of the last tweets today, which reads, We're the hero Melbourne deserves, not the one it needs right now. So plenty of people commending the students on their initiative today that are questioning whether it had indeed been applied to the appropriate project. Thanks, Emma. Tens, Emma Sullivan reporting live there.